I have the ROG Ally here. I have my Starfield Xbox controller. I have Starfield installed. I also have a XG Mobile. I'm gonna go through a bunch of different settings here, see how it performs for you guys, get an idea of how Starfield performs on the ROG Ally. I'm also gonna test out the XG Mobile so we can see what kind of enhancement that adds for us. We'll start with low presets with FSR off just to get a bit of a basis here to see how it looks. So you can see 1080, but by the way, the camera is quite close to the ROG Ally. So if you pick up some fan noise, it might be a little exaggerated, but uh, you can see the 1080p low. It is playable, but you're gonna be sub 30. So I think for most people, you know, this is not the way you're gonna to wanna to go. Now, this is very important. You can see here the FPS hasn't really jumped. When you have FSR on, when you have your settings off and FSR is off and then you turn it on, you can see here it doesn't do anything. My FPS is still really bad. Got to come in here and you can see FSR is off. You need to go like this. You go in here and you turn your settings to anything. It doesn't matter what. And then you come back here to low. Look at the increase in FPS. Okay, so this is 1080p low with FSR. And you can see there's a big jump in performance here. We've went up to uh, you know 40 or so from sub 30. This is outdoors. We put on some sharpening here. I've been setting it to around 20 to 25%. And um, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but it does clean up the lines a little bit. Just, just a touch. Um, I noticed it especially when I was in the spaceship. There's a spaceship portion very early in the game. I don't think that's giving any spoilers or anything, but you can see it really cleans up the lines a bit, right? Okay. So where we are here, let's kick out to a little bit of third person here. No, not really a considerable drop or increase or anything. It's pretty much the same. Right, no issues. 41 in uh, turbo. Thirty-five, thirty-six, and performance. So still get, you know, we're gaining five or six FPS, which is probably fifteen or sixteen percent. Uh, it's considerable, but it's not going to be game breaking. Silent is, um, yeah, it's pretty rough though. It's a huge drop there. So that extra fifteen watts from silent up to, uh, you can see how bad it is. When you go from silent upwards, you can see what kind of jump it is. Some other things uh, you can set up your ROG Ally with different amounts of VRAM. If you don't know how to do this, I mean. Okay, so now I'm in here in ROG Ally, turbo, you know, you can do the manually here. I'm just gonna leave it on turbo for mo for now. This is one thing, I set this to five gigabytes. You can go lower, you can go higher. Uh, six gigabytes, some people were saying, what's the sweet spot? I play with it a little bit. I've been setting it to five gigabytes and I'll show you why I'll come back. This is why I'm setting it to five gigabytes. So if you see here, our game is only using about four gigabytes of RAM, system RAM, but my system, I have a lot, I have nothing open. I have just Steam and some other, you know, whatever the basic Windows stuff is, and we're up to nine gigabytes. So if you set this, allocate six gigabytes to the GPU, you'd still be okay, because, you know, this is sub, you'd have 10, because you have 16 gigabytes to work with. So if you set six gigabytes to the VRAM, uh, you know, you're going to have just basically one gigabyte technically to work with here. And depending on how you know, this is estimating and system usage, things could start up and you could hit a normal system memory uh, wall if you had too much DRAM. You, know, you can go over here and you can set this to four or six. With six, you're going to potentially run into issues with your, with six, you may potentially run into issues with your system memory, using up too much and you're not going to have enough system memory. If you set it to four, you may just hit a VRAM wall and then, you know, the game's just going to stutter. Five seems to be the sweet spot for me. You, know, you're, you have enough system memory a little bit of extra to work with over here and you also are not going to hit your four gigabyte vram wall which potentially you know this will go up and down depending on what scenes you're on okay so what i've done now is i've actually set the system to 720p so you can normally use you know 1080p then use fsr and what happens is you have 1080p your resolution is 1080p 
FSR decreases your resolution, then it upscales it. That's the, that's the basis of DLSS, XESS, and FSR. So you, know, you decrease resolution, then you up it. You can see now I've just natively put it in to 720p. And let's check the settings here. Okay, so it's about the same around, a little bit lower, not terrible, but a little bit lower. So, you know, just doing 720p is going to give you, let's say, 43 over here, looking at this here, 45, 43 to 45. Come back here, 38. Okay, now we'll try 720p with FSR, which will give us a high frame rate, but it's going to be a little bit blurry. So this is 720p with FSR on low. Okay, so we're up to 50 there. You can see here, you know, 45. So if you're if you're okay with a little bit blurry, you can definitely set it to 720p and use some uh, FSR on top of that. 720p with FSR off. Noticeably sharper than 720p with FSR on. Considerably noticeably. 1080p, no scaling. Ten eighty P with FSR. So you can see your seven twenty P native gives you about the same FPS as ten eighty P with FSR. They look kind of similar. I would lean slightly towards FSR. Let's go to medium. Medium FSR. Let's see what we can get here. Spoiler, it's kind of bad. Okay, let's test out now my XG Mobile. This is the weakest XG Mobile you can get. It's just a 3070. Still, obviously, a huge boost over the internal iGPU. 8 gigabytes of VRAM and 3070 mobile. So, so Ultra 1080p and uh, 40 FPS in this scene here. There will be less demanding areas and more demanding areas, but the 3070 mobile is going to give you uh, above 30, I mean, above what the Series X and the Series S are doing. Ultra FSR now. So with FSR on, a little bit of a boost here, 44. I mean, it is considerable. I'm setting well above 30, 40 easily now. Up to 50 in you know, less demanding scenes. More challenging scenes are going to dip down. Medium native is giving you about what you get with Ultra FSR. On such a small screen, you can notice a huge difference in, in uh, visuals. We're not CPU bound, so you can go above the 3070, absolutely. The uh, 7840 HS CPU that comes in the ROG Alley or the Z1 Extreme, whatever, um, it could definitely handle a 3080 easily. Um, and probably a 4090 in theory. Medium with FSR is rock solid. So if you have the 3070 or greater uh, XG Mobile, or if you have a 3070 laptop, like a, just a normal 3070 laptop, um, you can probably just throw it on medium, a little bit of FSR and get your 60. Pretty good. Best performance we're gonna get on the ROG Ally itself. 72 with the 3070, 72. 120 hertz refresh rate screen, so I'll probably play on medium or something like that. You know, some less demanding areas, it'll you'll notice it above 60. Okay, this is 4K uh, FSR on, and it's you know, rendering to the lowest, so it's basically max. It's weird that they don't have this normal settings where it's like performance, whatever. So you have to mess around with that scale slider there. Uh, and low, it's actually it's running fine. Still running way better than the Series X, Series S. That only maxes out 30 FPS. So you're gonna get, maybe in some demanding areas it'll go down. And now we're at 1440p, which will be significantly more viable. Uh, let's turn it up to uh, Ultra with FSR. Um, we'll just kind of see what the base is here. Ultra presets with FSR. A little rough, you're gonna get 30 FPS or so even here. Yeah, it's a little bit 
rough. Let's uh, turn up that FSR or whatever. You know, that's at 75%. We can go to 50, which I guess is, I don't know, performance mode. such a dumb way they're doing it. That's a little better. 1440p low, 1440p ultra, and then I maxed out the uh, FSR using that slider, I guess. Kind of dumb, but whatever. Okay, so let's go out. That's a little much, so. I mean, the game wasn't running great at 1080p. So we'll come in here and we'll go medium. You can see here FSR is on and it's at, I guess, max FSR. Again, a weird way to do this. So the medium presets, and uh, this is pretty good actually. So if you have a 1440p screen, you're going to be fluctuating a bit. You know, we're up to almost 60 up here. Down here will drop down. The 3070 XG Mobile is a little bit more rare. So if you can snag yourself an XG Mobile, you're probably going to buy the 3080 or the 6850 MXT, which are both way more powerful than this. They're around the same power of each other. Do the presets again. So 1480, 1440p low, and uh, there's your 60 FPS with FSR on the max or whatever. See, it's a little janky up there. Okay, and here's a bit of a jump cut, so you can see how the performance is inside. Uh, same thing, uh, 1080p low. FSR on natively, and uh, obviously a big jump in performance here. Got medium and FSR, that's what I've been trying inside. And 1440p, so as it was before. And you can see here, reset that there, a huge jump in performance obviously. So medium with FSR inside, we're getting 63 as lows, 82 to 84 on average or so. Very good performance, obviously. Yeah. It's pretty high naturally, and you can see here we are getting well above 60 even in the firefight. The enemy is no longer down and then it renders quite a bit lower. You can see there's a huge jump in performance here. Uh, I'm not sure what this uh, what this would translate to in terms of performance. But uh, obviously quite good. You can see huge jump in performance. You can see FSRs there at so I'll actually go high with a relatively lower FSR here. 65 Okay, so it's pretty good. So medium with a little bit of F with the FSR on, we're getting uh, 52 or so. 54. That's actually running pretty well, to be honest. This is probably the sweet spot. You could turn up the settings a bit, but then your FPS will drop. It's FSR down a bit, so it looks a little bit uh, smoother, I guess. Yeah, that, that actually looks pretty good there. So the FSR is not nearly as strong. It's just on 75%, which I guess is quality FSR. And it's still medium. And uh, you know we're getting 45 or so, probably up to 50. Again, that's 50% more FPS than you can get on console. Okay, to close it out, we're in uh, Atlantis here for the iGPU. Again, this is very tough area to run. We're gonna have to drop down to low for sure. So we'll go low and we'll just leave FSR as default. Um, I've heard this is a very hard place to run here. Um, oh, it's actually pretty good. So, I mean, we're gonna be hopefully just static above 30. Again, the consoles run at 30, so. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, it's fine, 37 or so in the worst case scenarios like this, and you're gonna be all the way up to 60 in indoor stuff. So I mean, obviously very, very playable on the ROG Ally. You basically just throw it on the lowest settings. You can tweak stuff as you go. This is, this game's not even technically out yet. This is still, um, you know, pre-release, so there will be patches. Uh, there will be drivers from AMD. So if anything, it's only gonna get better. But the fact that it's so playable as it is right now, just on the iGPU, is very compelling. If you are someone who has an ROG, if you are someone who has an XG Mobile, you know, I have the 3070, which is the weakest of them. 
um, and it makes a huge difference in performance. And of course, if you have that, you can uh, get considerably more performance in this game. Uh, if you have the 3080, 6850 MXT, it's going to be very good performance, but even the 37 really does push it up to the point where you can play on 1440p. You have a 1080p screen, I mean, that's native to the screen here. It's going to run amazing, but you can even push 1440p with reasonable settings.